I'm starting off by paling up my skin and for that I'm using a mixture of my white and my regular colored foundation. I'm applying it all over my face, ears and neck. On to brows. I'm using a cool dark brown eyeshadow and I'm starting off from the front of the brow which is something I normally don't do but I really want to make them thicker and straighter and bushier. And just to give the brows a more natural look, I'm actually going to draw on little individual hairs using a water-activated paint. I want to make my lips look smaller than they are, so I'm going to underline them, which is the opposite of overlining, I guess. With this cool brown pencil, I'm just tracing a line on the inside of my lips just to make them look thinner and I'm filling them in with a muted rosy color and I'm actually mixing them up. I'm running a bit of the brown again and the rose again just to make them look smaller but also not very healthy, sort of chapped and sickly. I'm running a bit of concealer with a detailed brush all around my new lip shape and this is really what's going to make the big difference. Blending everything in slightly with my finger and just cleaning up my edges and I'm moving on to my eyes. I'm using a dark brown eyeshadow to outline my bottom lash line and I'm also moving on to my contouring. So I want to create this little hood underneath my lips and what's going to create the difference in depth in each part of the face is actually the brush. So I'm changing between small brush and bigger ones and I also want to make my lips look a little bit droopy and my chin way smaller so I just really want to narrow it down and I don't really care if there's a bit of double chin showing actually that adds to the innocent look because Aria is a really young girl so yeah if I'm left with a bit of double chin I don't really mind I want to make my eyes slightly droopy as well so I'm taking a dark brown eyeshadow towards the front of the crease and I'm also accentuating the outer corner which is pointing downwards. I basically want to enlarge my eyes but I want them to look tired at the same time. A little more contouring on the jaw using the same dark brown eyeshadow and I'm moving on to my dark circles. I'm using a more detailed brush for this. And I also want to lighten up my brows, so I'm using a tan colored concealer on a spoolie brush and running it all through the brow hairs. And next I'm just crinkling up some tissue paper, dipping it in my black eyeshadow and just rubbing it messily all over my face where I want to add the effect of dirt. Taking the dirt down the neck, as with everything else, adding a bit of under eye bags using the same brown eyeshadow. And next I'm taking a stipple sponge with a purpley burgundy cream color. I'm going to blend most of it away with my fingers. I just want it to look as though she was struck by something or thrown onto the pavement by this other chick that keeps beating her up at this stage for some reason. Some more dirt on the same spot and moving on to the tear on the lips. I'm applying some lash glue and the tiniest bit of cotton on top of that, which I'm pinning down with additional lash glue. As Soon as it starts to dry, I'm just gently pulling it apart with my tweezers just to add more texture and make it look as though there's bits sticking out. And while I wait for it to dry completely, I'm moving on to the hair. So I'm parting my hair on the side and I'm just going to create two little braids on each side, which I'm going to then pin back so on the back of my head but just to make it look more oily and sad looking in general I'm just running a generous amount of hair gel on all the places where I'm not supposed to so into the roots and on the ends and I'm working it really well into my hair just so it looks as oily as it gets I don't really know how to braid hair funnily enough I can only braid the left side of my face I don't know why that happens but this will do nicely for this look I think So the hair is done and I also threw on my woolen cape which is the closest thing I have to a medieval garment and I'm adding some cream burgundy color onto the lips just to give the illusion of depth and texture and maybe some bruising. 
and I thought now would be a good time for me to apply my blind looking lenses but I ended up just applying one for starters because otherwise I wouldn't be able to see where to place my artificial blood. So I applied it in and around the tear on my lips and I went ahead and stuck on the second blind contact lens and there you have the finished blind area stark look as seen in the beginning of the sixth Game of Thrones season. Sorry if I spoiled it for anybody. So thank you so much for watching, leave me your thoughts in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!